Hey guys, it's Christina and I'm here with Mark Addison, author of Cocktail Chameleon. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing so good because today we are using Kim Crawford Rosé and you're putting a little twist on one of our favorite summer cocktails. Tell Absolutely. me all about it. Absolutely. Well, everyone was crazy about the Frosé last mm -hmm. summer. So this is an unexpected twist on the Frosé. I'm calling this Frozen Summer Sangria. Ooh, yes. that's so fancy. Yes, it's full of color, <laughs> it's full of great flavor, and it's perfect for a hot afternoon. I love it. So what's in it? Okay, so first we're going to start off with two cups of fresh or frozen strawberries that you can mm -hmm. Freeze fresh strawberries if you prefer. But okay. we like to have them frozen because that's what's making it our frozen summer sangria. Exactly. And then to that, we're gonna add two ounces of honey. Okay. And then we're gonna add two ounces of raspberry liqueur mm -hmm. and one ounce of fresh, fresh. lemon juice. Always fresh. <laughs> Always fresh. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a full bottle of the Kim Crawford Rose. Very nice. We yeah. like yes. a full bottle. Will you be my assistant? <laughs> of course. Okay, so take that off the blender. We okay. have two cups of frozen strawberries already measured out. Very nice. And then to that, we're gonna add our honey. And you always have to use, what this is called a jigger. So you always mm -hmm. have to use the proper bar tools because you cannot wing a good cocktail. No, that's true. You always have to measure everything. Yes, and that will take a little time dribbling yes. in. <laughs> but what's great about doing the honey first is a wonderful tip, is that when you add your lemon juice, you can just add half a lemon juice and it's going to get the rest of it out of there. Honey out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then we're going to add our raspberry liqueur. Why raspberry? Does it have to be raspberry? It's because it has a great, great boost of flavor and okay. it works really well with the fruitiness of the Kim Crawford rose as well as with the strawberries. Very nice. And then we're going to add. This is the hard part. <laughs> One full bottle. Mm -hmm. No measuring needed. No measuring. Pre measured. <laughs> it goes right in. <laughs> so. We already added two cups of ice okay. into our blender. Mm -hmm. So we just put the top on it. Rest. So you can add more or less ice just depending okay. on how uh, frozen you'd like to and have And this is your great cocktail. for a summer party, a summer barbecue. Absolutely. Yeah. This can you is, make this one in batches? You can make this in batches and what you would want to do is put it in the freezer mm -hmm. before you add your wine okay. because then you can just whip it up and again in the blender with your ice. This looks so good. So Mark, can we use another liquor in this? Or? Absolutely, you can add any white spirit that you'd like. Mm -hmm. Blanco tequila works really well nice. with this, or a vodka, okay. a flavored vodka would be nice too, something mm -hmm. lemon or orange, you know, it's keeping along with the citrus and fruity tones. Okay, I and, think we need to drink these. And to finish, we're just gonna garnish <laughs> oh, with sorry. some fresh strawberry slices. Mm -hmm. You just dollop them right on the top. Just make it look so pretty. And then, I always like to add a paper straw to the cocktail, Look especially nice a frozen that. cocktail. Yes. You always make them look too nice to drink, but not that nice that we get. <laughs> well, here's to summer. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Martha, it's so good. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the fresh strawberries. You can really taste the rosé. The flavors come through. It's it is the best just of perfection. summer in a glass. It really is. Thank you. <laughs>